Joe. Oh, just me now. Unbelievable. How come? How come? Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Let's begin about, okay. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes. Welcome, it's nice to have you. Everybody ready? We're gonna have an easy class today. Don't worry. Everything is like easy today. So uh just just be ready. Just be ready because it's gonna be easy. Thank you so much for being here on this day, which is Monday. Okay, we finished this this uh module this week. Okay, so uh you you you're almost done. So just a one day, right? Four days and then everything is gone. Okay, so you won't hear my voice again. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. One more time. Just get me a minute because I need to get the attendance. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, we go. Give me a minute. Don't forget also that you have the platform available. Pues para que usted vaya avanzando en los exercises que están there. Sí, right. Hay una persona encargada de supervisar that one. So, este, para que usted vaya ahí avanzando, right? Little by little in the exercise. Acuérdese que a veces por algún detallito, ya sea un guión, ya sea un punto, ya sea una mayúscula, pues a veces esa cosa no nos deja avanzar a little bit. Entonces, siempre solicito apoyo ahí en el sitio de WhatsApp. Bien. Yeah. So, uh, so you can help each other, right? So you can help each other. Welcome. It's nice to have you again on this beautiful day. We're going to have section number five this week. And today we're going to talk about what time is it. Uh, this is the answer number one, and this is plus number 13. Number 13. Okay, so welcome. Welcome, welcome. We have Karina here. Hello, Karina. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Hello, today? teacher. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, thank you so much for being here. I was about to tell you something, but I forgot. I'm sorry. Let me see. Pedro is here. Hello, Pedro. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are, How are you, you today, Pedro? Fine. Sounds good. Sounds good. What about your 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 dinner? Was was good? Was it good? Good. Oh, that very, was good. very good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's my favorite thing. Food. I love food. Right, Rosa. I did. What is your favorite food, Rosa? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Yes. What is your favorite food? Yes. For me, something that I love are cangrejos with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Have you tried cangrejos with tomatoes, Rosa? Yes. Cangrejos no. with tomatoes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Those things, like, takes... When I when I eat that, it takes, like, an hour. Sí, me tarda una hora en comer. Because all, all the things that I need to do. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I love them. I love them. What about you, Oswaldo? What is your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is pupusas. <laughs> I love the pupusas. Okay. What about what about elote loco? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? It's good. I like elote oh, loco. Cool. Um, popo. Oh, Roast like with the ketchup. Oh, with all of the ketchup, right? And the sauce. Yes. Mayonnaise. Sauce. Mayonnaise, very good. Mm -hmm. Um cheese ribs. Okay. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. I like it. And fry. What about what about fry? Fried chicken. Do you love fried chicken? Mm, yes, I like fresh chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Tompoyo and what is the other the other one? Pinulito, right? Something like that. Yeah. Pinulito, yes. Pinulito, yes. Yeah, that's another competence, right? And then we have yes. Laniya Yani, right? But then we have Laniya Yani with, with Chongenga, yeah. So that's a new yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you like if you have nothing, you know, sabe que hacer para dinner, right? I tiene la niña Yani, right? So you can so you can have a también. <laughs> Uh, bring it for dinner, yes, anytime. Yeah, no, that, that was that's good. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. We have to make assistance. I'm sorry. Uh, Ana Marina Cáceres, thank you. Ana Marina, no. Thank teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome, Xiomara. Hello, Xiomara. Xiomara? No. Okay, Ángel León. Ángel León. Presente. Thank you so much. Ángel, um, thank you so much. Blanca Cerón. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. No, okay. Um, Carlos Nerio. No, Carmen Romero. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Carmen. Welcome. Claudia Paredes. Present. Good evening. Perfect. Good evening. Nice to have you. Dalia Marisol Hernández. Hello, hello, Dalia. No, okay. David Cepeda. David Cepeda. No, okay. What about Eva? Eva Ordóñez. No, Eva, today. Okay. Oh, thank you, Eva. Good evening. Nice to have you. Um, Griselda Raquel Estrada. Hi, teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Hugo. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, Hugo. Nice to have you. Johnny Pineda. No, no, Johnny today. What about Oswaldo? You're here, right, Oswaldo? Yes, I hear. Karina, I think you're here, right, Karina? Yes? Present teacher. Happy as usual. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Hello, teacher. Yes, she's here. Welcome. Nice to have you. Kenya Romero. Hello, Kenya. Kenya. Kenya? No? Okie dokie. Let's continue. Marvin Cordova. Oh, Mr. Cordova. No. Okay, okay, let's carry on. Melissa Lopez. Present. Thank you so much and good evening. Nice to have you. Moises. You're here, right, Moises? I'm here. Perfect. Welcome, Moises. Pedro Ramirez. Mr. I'm here, Ramirez. Teacher. Thank you so much, Pedro. Nice to have you. Ricardo. Where is Ricardo? Are you here? Present, teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Rosa Barrientos. Hello, Rosa. Presente. Present, Present. Thank perdón. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. I am Rosario del Carmen Rivas. I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Thank you, Rosario. I'm sorry. Es que me creo que me salte a Rosa Moreno. Rosa Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Creo que me a Rosa Barrientos, right? Rosa Barrientos. Rosa Barrientos. Hello, hello. Yes, ella creo que fue que salté. I'm sorry. Present. Ah, oh, Rosa Barrientos. Yes. Oh, perfect. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Um, Zaira Carrillo. Zaira Carrillo. Zaira? Okay. What about Stephanie? Javier? Mm -hmm. Stephanie? What about Valeria Gomez? Oh, Valeria. Oh, what about Jancy Alvarado? I'm here, teacher. Welcome. And Jenny de la Concepción. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you, everybody, again. 
Solo voy a revisar el chat on Zoom, así rapidito. Please. Vamos a tener a alguien. Flor. Ok. Flor Estelinas. Recuerde que tiene que estar su nombre con, con igual que se busca. Eh, on, on, on the chat here on Zoom. Ok. So again, it's nice to see your beautiful face one more time. I hope everybody is okay at home, healthy and happy. We will continue like reviewing this section number five. Como usted sabrá, pues esta semana terminamos la section number five y ustedes pues culminan el módulo. Yes. Pues Teacher. Usted... Yes. Ah, sorry, se lo interrumpí. Okay. No Pero problem. le quería preguntar antes de, de que continuemos con la clase. Yo sé que quizás no exista esa, eh, ese nombre en inglés, pero estos nombres que son muy nuestros, como ese lote loco, ¿cómo, ¿cómo los llamamos allá? Fíjese que son como son nombres propios. Los nombres propios, pues a ellos no se les modifica nada. Lo único que se hace se da, pues, por ejemplo, pues como algunas características de, de la comida. Es como lo estaba haciendo Oswaldo con los ingredientes. Yes. Sonar un poco Entonces, más gringo. Like oh, okay. explicarle a la, a la persona, right? ¿Cómo es el producto? Sí, para que tenga una idea de cómo es el producto. Igual, con los names, pues no se les cambia nada. Eh, por ejemplo, allá ellos tienen unos apellidos que son bien raros. Por ejemplo, Brown, Smith. Uh, y hay otros que son bien raros. Entonces, cuando usted los traduce literal, pues al español, pues suena bien gracioso. Right? Oh, ¿Cómo es que se llama? Ok. Teacher. Entonces, sí, lo siento. Yes. Es que... No, okay. Es que pausa y creí que había terminado. Eh, vaya, ya que pasamos a los nombres, yo sé que no traducimos don, pero ¿cómo podría ser esa referencia de don? Don fulano. Oh, es mister. Es mister. Mister. Uh -huh. Vamos con los titles, mister. Oh, ok. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Ahora... Bueno, por ejemplo, yo lo que hago es lo hago en español. Por ejemplo, en es, el español es bien rich, es bien rich en vocabulary, right? Entonces, por ejemplo, los caballeros, o sea, corríjame si me equivoco, uno va en la calle y otro, 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 un vecino, right? Like, hey. Y uno le dice, hey, macizo, bye bye, yeah, ok, oh, jefe, bye bye, ok. <risa> oh, no, hey, bye bye, ok. So, en inglés, siempre vamos con ir mister, solo hasta ahí llega, ok. Mister, Mister, right? So just, that's, it. that's why I prefer Spanish because in Spanish it's quite funny. Um, por ejemplo, I'm sorry, a los señores security, no sé por qué siempre les dicen Sierra. I don't know why they call them like that, okay? Hey, Sierra, vemos, okay? No sé por qué, but that's, that's the way they do it, okay? So, uh, but in English, tenemos los titles, Miss, Mrs., Mister, and Miss, okay? Again, vamos a trabajar con esta cosa que se llama time. Ok, so voy a poner una conversation here or in vocabulary about time. So I need you to listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney, Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. 
This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? So here we're talking about time. Let's have this beautiful conversation here. What time is it there? Here we're going to talk about time. How important it is to communicate the time? Here we use the numbers. Okay? Here we use the numbers. So, and that's, that's not how difficult, right? We've been practicing here a little bit of numbers, and today we're going to use it. Okay? So we have Debbie and John. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I am on a conference in Sydney. Remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm away now. So this is a conversation about somebody calling, right? And here we need to be dealing with the time. As you may know, in different countries, based on the map, on the map, vimos el map ahí, right? It depends on the style of that, pues, pues el, el, el schedule is different. Aquí, everybody is with the same schedule. Ya sea que esté en San Miguel, ya sea que esté en Santa Ana, es el same schedule, right? So, don't worry about it. Pero si usted está allá por, no sé, Spain, I don't know what time is it there, okay? It's probably like noon, I guess. No, I don't know. Or maybe morning. I don't know. Yes. So based on the map, we have different hours depending on the on the on the place we are located. Right, like Sydney, the United States, uh, probably uh, Argentina, right, where we have a different uh, time hour there. California. So, oh, California, right? It's a different uh, time hour that that we have. Also, Mexico, mm -hmm. some parts of Mexico, I guess. Alemania. Oh, Germany. Yes. Germany. Yes. <laughs> Every time I, I hear the expression Germany, I, report, I remember like this Nazi uh, crisis they, they, they got. I'm so so uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're going to practice this conversation. Okay. Yes. Vamos a practicar primero aquí. Rapidito, right? Le vamos a pedir a Melissa and Hugo, please. Melissa, you are Debbie and Hugo, you are John. Please. Okay. Hello. Okay, teacher. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am Carly from Australia. Australia? I had conference in Sydney, remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's, it's 10 o'clock um, p.m. And it's your four o'clock in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, um, four um, um, o'clock? Oh, I am really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Yes, very good. Okay, so this is the conversation, right? Si me gustó, very good, Melissa and Hugo. Y se fijaron las pausas que hicieron ellos, right? Yes. Aquí hay yes. unas comas y hay unos puntos, right? Entonces, esas comas y esos puntos les sirve a usted para hacer las pauses, right? So you can say, hello, hi, Debbie, this is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Awake is, así como Limay, right? Here, mire. 
awake, ¿ya? Yeah? Como cuando ya a las 3 de la mañana, las gallinas o los gallos de los vecinos, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, so voy a abrir los breaker rooms y les voy a dar 6 minutos so you can practice the conversation. No sé si le tomaron captura de pantalla. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Voy a abrir los de 3 en in, in, in case. Algún compañero pues no puede encender su mic. Okay, so, so you can. So you can practice on that one. Okay. And again, si le sobra tiempo, one more time. Practice, right? Escuche a su compañero cómo pronuncia, right? Y si tiene alguna duda, pregúntale. Hey, mira, ¿por qué pronunciaste eso la vez? Yes? So you can practice. This thing no es solo para que pues, practique, sino es para que escuche el tono de voz, para que escuche cómo lo pronuncia fulano, right? So you can learn how, how to do it, okay? Give me a minute. Somebody wrote in the chat. Good evening, Dalia. Uh, Valeria, thank you so much. Okay, Griselda, thank you so much. No problem. Welcome. Nice to have you. Sí, yes. Voy a volver a, a oh, poner sure. la, la conversación. Sure. Thank no you. Problem. No problem. There you go. Yo espero un momentito que, 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 le, que, le, que, le, que me quite el, una pantallita que sale siempre. Okay. There you have it. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, let's. My gosh, what? Okay, here we go. Breaker rooms, one more time. Ahí está. Give me a minute. Voy a dejar en, en la sala principal a Hugo, Oswaldo, Pedro, and Saraí. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Hugo, Oswaldo, Pedro, and Saraí se quedan en la sala principal. So you can practice okay. here. And the rest of you, cuando les llegue el pop up message, dele a set. Okay. Or join. Okay. I think, I don't know what's happening. There you go. Okay. Yes. Okay. Carmen, Claudia, Kathy, Angel, Rosa, eh, Abraham, Karina, Sario, eh, Jancy, Valeria, Ana, Ricardo, you need to join, okay, in case you can. Valeria, or Jancy, very good. Abraham, Abraham, you need to join, please. Or Rosario, or Rosario de Carmen, you need to join. Join with, with, your, um, with your partner so you can practice, uh, Rosario. Yes, no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. So, Hugo and your classmate, this is time for you. You can start practicing now. Okay, teacher. Wait a little as well, though. I'm sorry, okay. Pero de Usted inicia, Carmen. Okay. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am at conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is, is, is it there? It's there. It's... 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm away now. Perfect. Okay. Um, con Katy. Con Katy. Usted con ella. No, usted. Digo yo. Usted. Ya. Comienzo entonces. Katy está ahí. Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Ok, okay. voy a comenzar. Sí. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? 
All right. What time is it is there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock. There is Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I wake now. Okay. Yeah, you, you can you can you still have like two minutes left. You can keep practicing, okay? You can switch roles. ¿Quién está pronunciando con quién? Me estaba ayudando. There. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos ahí with the practice? Elizabeth, Ángel. Sí, ya estamos, ya practicamos. Y vamos oh. por la tercera. Ajá. Oh, that's, that's very good. That's, that's very good. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna question? ¿Everything good? Mm, donde dice, mm, luego de Australia, la pronunciación de como conferencia y no. lo demás. Conference in Sydney. 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 Conference. Conference. Y en la y última. Aquí, uh, awake. I'm awake. Aquí awake. Como, que, como que lo unen la M con la A. Entonces por I'm eso awake. cuando yo lo digo, digo, I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay. I'm awake. Okay. Bueno, ah, sí. Igual aquí siempre con el time. Si aquí dice AM, tiene que decir AM. Ok. Porque a veces me lo okay. cambia o clock, ¿ok? Y es verdad. Ajá. Pero tenemos que ser específicos, porque si me dice o clock, no sé si es PM o AM. Ah, ajá. Por eso ahí sí. tenemos PM and AM, just to be AM. specific. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect, very good. Thank you. My pleasure. Ahí está sí, sí. Rosario, está Hugo, Jenny. Vaya, démosle Hugo. Uh. Ok, voy a ser Debbie, entonces. Uh, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? I am at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is here? It's uh, 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, 4 a.m.? Thanks, oh, okay. I'm really sorry. Uh, thanks, okay. I am awake now. Okay. So much. Otro? That was very good. Thank you so much. Okay, for your participation in that one. Uh great job. Also, don't forget that you have the this video available on the platform so you can replay that video one more time. So you can listen and repeat in case you need to improve pronunciation. Vamos a tener a Jenny de la Concepción. Hello, hello, Jenny. And Ana Maria Cáceres. Okay. So the two of you. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo está? ¿Tú tú ven? ¿Tú tú ven? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Vamos con la conversation, please. Thank you. All right. Can you need to... Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm coming from Australia. I think 
Uh, yes, I think I think she has a problem with with her internet connection because because I couldn't hear her voice. Yes, uh, Karina, Canales is ready. Thank you, Karina. Okay, so Australia? don't worry. Sorry, I am a conference in Sydney. Remember. Okay, can you start start one more time from the beginning? Start over, Anna and Karina, please. Karina, you are Debbie, and Anna Marie, Maria, Marina, you are John, okay? Oh, right. What time is this trail? It is 10 p.m. And it is four o'clock. There in Los Angeles, right? Here, here. Uh, you are here, Karina. You are here. Yes. I can no understand the problem. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Aquí va con Debbie. Yes. Okay. Yes, four o'clock in the morning. I got you. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That was beautiful. Very good. The two of you. Ahora cambia roles. Change roles. Thank you. Uh. Yeah. Hello. Hi, David. This is John. I'm calling for from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. They're in Los, An Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four, I am, oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks, okay, and I wait now. Very good, so aquí tenemos that, that, okay. That's okay. Very good, That's the two okay. of you. Yes, Ana Ma Marina, and also Karina. Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, so that was very good. A few little mistakes and pronunciations, right? But you did it almost perfect. That's wonderful. Sigan practicando así, because lo you are están haciendo very good. Okay. Yes, that was very good. Oh my gosh. Very good. Very good, okay? That was pretty nice. I love it. The way you did it, that was very good. Again, we're talking about the time. Con el time, we use numbers. And here we have an example, okay? Here we have what time is this. We have different clocks here, all right? You can take a look of the time. Yes. In a UDMA, let me see. Ricardo, please, can you tell me the time that we see here on this picture? Okay. What time it is? It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty two. Two two. <laughs> It's one forty-five. It's quarter to two. Perfect. Two. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. Yes. So this is the way we tell the time. Okay. It's not something difficult. Hay varias opciones. Bueno, hay dos opciones. La primera es la la esta que está acá con el número, right? You see the the num the time. What time is it? It's one o'clock. 1 p.m. It's 2 p.m. 
it's 115, it's 105, it's 140, it's 145, it's 130. That is the easiest way to say the time. Now, the difficult part is you need to play with the numbers, yes? So you need to know how to say 40, how to say 55, how to say, I don't know, 32, how do you say 25, how to say 15, how do you say 10, how do you say 5? You need to know at least del 1 al 60, tiene que saber cómo decir esos números. Y yes. entonces este ve el reloj ahorita, por ejemplo, yo le pregunto a, let me check, uh -huh, a Zaira, Zaira Carrillo, what time is it, Carrillo? What time is it now? Uh -huh. Tell me, Saira, what time is it? What time? Uh -huh. Excuse me, teacher. ¿Entienden lo que estamos hablando? Aquí le pregunto yo, what time is it? Vea su reloj and tell me, what time is it? What is the time? Mm -hmm. mm, it, it, it is nine seven. Yes, very good. Okay. Entonces, cuando usted le pregunte, hey, what time is it? Así como me lo dijo. Yes? Right? It is. Yes? Right? So, it, it, that's the easy way. La forma fácil de decirlo es con el número. Yes? Right? Entonces, usted le pregunta, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's 9.37 p.m. No se le olvide decir p.m. Ok, yes. Ahorita, por el contexto okay. que estamos, yes, puede decir así, va, right? solo el número. Oh, it's 9.37, right? Pero ya si va a un meeting, si sí, usted pone escrito ahí, y miren, tenemos meeting a la 7 p.m. Que si no, se le van a conectar a las 7 a.m. Okay, so you need to be, you need to be sure with that one, right? Rosario, thank you. Tell me. Y si ahora militar. A las 22. Okay, a las 22. Cuando tenemos que, dijo teacher, cuando le estaba explicando a ella. Oh, cuando tenemos meetings. Tenemos que ser bien específicos. Is it PM or AM? Yes? Meeting. Eh. Reunión. No, no. No entiendo qué es miren. Reunión. Oh, oh, ok, gracias. Y la otra es, cuando en el tercer dibujo, cuando usamos after? Oh, yes, a eso iba, a eso iba, ok. Yes, a eso iba, <ríe> a eso iba. Primero estaba hablando con los nombres, ¿verdad? Right? Primero los nombres, ok. Y luego voy a la otra que es un poquito más difícil. Ok, Rosario. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Just, just give okay. me, give me, okay. Very good. Again, the first thing, de la forma más fácil que usted puede decir el time, es esa, con los números, right? Entonces, that's why, les, les comentaba, right? You need to know cómo decir los números, por lo menos del 1 al 60, right? So, cuando le preguntan, hey, what time is it? Oh, it's 3.40. It's 1.15. It's, I don't know, 2 o'clock, let's say, yes? So, you need to know how to say the time, okay? Uh, with with the numbers, because esa es la forma más easy to say, ¿ok? Y la pregunta que siempre nos hacen es, what time is it? ¿ok? Ahora, con esto que está acá, si usted se fija, pues tenemos una cosa que se llama after, after, y aquí tenemos to, to. ¿Cuándo cree que utilizamos after y cuándo cree que utilizamos to? ¿Any idea? After es después de la hora. No. Y tú es que hace falta. Gracias, ah. Ricardo. Yes. Sorry, sorry, tenía encendido el, el micrófono. Oh, Karen, no problem. Yes, Ricardo, eso es exacto. Es, utilizamos el after cuando pasa y el to cuando falta. Yes. Simple like that. Simple like that. Entonces, cuando aquí mire, tenemos, ¿sí? minutos podemos decir quarter, quarter, ok, cuando tenemos 30 podemos decir half, ok, 
half. Okay, let's try to make it make it again. Okay, ten minutes. I'm sorry. Yes, ahí estamos. Okay, so, cuando pasa la media hora, 30 minutes, podemos decir half after, o también podemos utilizar esta palabra que siempre ocupo yo, que es past. Para mí siempre voy con esto porque es un poquito más fácil de pronunciar. Past. Que esto significa lo mismo after. Ok. Ahora, si usted quiere, usted puede utilizar after o puede utilizar past. Ok. Pero si usted se fija, la estructura está un poquito más difícil. Yes. Entonces, primero digo los minutes que pasan o los minutes que faltan. Y luego, por último, digo la, la hora. La hour. Sí, yes. Sí, no sé si me entendió aparte. En la forma simple solo digo la hora y luego los minutes. Pero en esta forma, en esta, this one, primero digo los minutes, luego la palabra after o past, y luego digo el hour. Ok, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twelve. Ok. Y acuérdese que el two. Pues cuando falta, después de pues que pasen 30, half, pues usted puede decir, oh, 25 to 4. Yes, or 22 to 2. <laughs> That's really normal. Right? Okay, le, le voy a mostrar more examples. Just give me a minute. No, no, no. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Okay, let me show you here. Aquí tenemos la palabra past que yo les comentaba y aquí lo que estaba comentando yo partner, right? Two. Aquí tenemos o'clock que ustedes me comentaron ahí. Yes, en la conversation. Y aquí tenemos los que les comentaba ha, cuando pasan ser menos. Ok, entonces como dijo Ricardo, pues pasan, yo puedo decir past. Again, es un poquito más complejo porque yo tengo que saber el orden, right? Ok. Entonces, aquí tenemos las formas de decirlo. ¿Ok? Las primeras dos son con los números. Yes. Right. Is 105, como está aquí. Y luego la otra es la forma, pues, lo más compleja, que es It's 5 past 1. Yes. ¿Cuál usted va a elegir? Pues la que a usted le convenga, la que se llama aquí for you. Si usted quiere decir esta, que es un poquito más complex. Porque esto es un poquito para, para más formal. Entonces, yo le recomiendo lo next one. Pues agarre el reto, ¿vale? Right? Empiece a decirlo así como está acá. Y ya cuando usted maneje esto, pues váyase con esto. Yes. So you can have a little bit more of practice. You know what I mean? Yes. Entonces, no se vaya de un solo, sino que easy. Little by little. Ok, so. Aquí no es que de la noche a la mañana, ¿vale? Right? Little by little. Ok. Uh, let me see. Igual, otro example here. Voy a borrar here. Yes. Yes. So it's, it's, it's 110 or it's 10 past 1. Okay. So I can say that. Here we have another one. 15. Yo les comentaba, right? Y aquí tenemos two options. Una es decir el número normal. is 15 past 1. Or you can say quarter. It's quarter past 1. Okay. When we have 20, again, the same thing, 25 and 30. And you have this one. You have these two options for me. Okay. This is the way we talk about the time. Okay. And how do we learn this thing? By practicing. ¿Cómo puede practicar usted en casa? Todos los días o at work. Usted puede practicar. Oh, what time is it? It is the time. Yes. What time is it? It is the time. Yes. Igual, si tienen hermano o una hermana o hijos o hijas, pues que están aprendiendo inglés también, y alguien le pregunta, hey, what time is it? Yes, so you can practice. Okay? So you can practice that. Again, one more time. Lo primero que le recomiendo, maneje la primera. Sí, esta cosa que está acá, right? Ahora, si ya es good at this one, go with the next one. Pass or two. Yes, you can use both of them. Also, les recomiendo también, si ya se maneja la primera, siempre vaya con esta opción. 
quarter and, and half, okay? When we have half here and quarter here. Y cuando falta siempre quarter, quarter two. Okay, so you can, so you can manage this one, okay? Yes, any question about this? Any question about this? Excuse me, excuse me. Any question? No se vuelve necesario decir o'clock para ninguna de estas. Fíjese que depende, depende. Si usted quiere decir en punto, you can say that. Por ejemplo, si le pregunta, hey, what time is it? It's two o'clock. Ok. Ahora, Gracias. si usted solo dice, it's two, bueno, la gente siempre lo va a entender, oh, it's two, right? Okay. So, so, at the end, at the end, siempre se lo dejo a usted, right? So, so you can decide. Yes. Yo, por ejemplo, <laughs> so digo, hey, what time is it? Oh, two. Teacher. Yes, Pedro. It, it's, it's quarter to, to ten. It's correct. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes. Yes. Quarter to ten. Yes. Very good. Very good. Ya lo estoy sacando. <laughs> Almost, oh, right? No. It's very close, right? <laughs> solo, solo quería saber si estaba correcto, sí. That's very good. Okay. <laughs> Pero lo que no hay que olvidar es el PM y el AM. Sí, no, más que todo lo utilizamos cuando es en los meetings. Por ejemplo, en el reading, en la lectura que estábamos haciendo, ahí decía PM y AM porque quería ser specific with the time. Ahora, está platicando face to face, pues con alguien, ¿no? Right? No necesita decir PM o AM porque ya sabe que están en el meeting. You know, ok. Period. Sí. Okay. Ahora, si en su meeting, como les comentaba, right, ahí sí usted tiene que escribirlo, PM o AM, right? Y cuando son meetings, siempre, la mayoría de veces, vamos con la primera opción, con esta. Porque, dígame, que para eso está recibiendo todo esto, right? Ok, so esto, esto que está acá, normalmente, siempre va cuando lo decimos. You know what I mean? Para sonar así como, y este señor knows, right? Oh, mire esta señorita, el nombre ya está avanzado, ya. Anden el avanzado, ¿verdad? Right? Y es, este, este que está acá solo when we speak, when we speak, ¿ok? Ahora, si usted lo quiere escribir todo, como le recomiendo, it's up to you. Usted quiere escribirlo todo, <risa> bueno, ¿ok? Pero, okay. En, en los, por ejemplo, en los correos, ¿verdad? Right? Cosas así, siempre vaya con esto, con lo más simple, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Y no se le olvide ponerle a en o pie. Porque un pequeño detalle y luego los pobres. El examen en la vida, no vamos a saber a qué hora, si hay MPM. Sí, no, hombre, <risa> en otra clase, en otra clase. <risa> 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 en la dos de clase. Y todo es difícil, es difícil. Let me show you more examples, ¿ok? Let me see. Oh my gosh, esta cosa no. Ok. Bueno, these are more examples, right? I guess. Yes. Okay, here we have, is it a.m. or p.m.? Okay, also, you can say this one. Do you remember parts of the day? In parts of the day, you can use this one. We have afternoon, we have mid, a lunch, right? Here we have in the morning, in the evening, at night, at midnight, So you can take a look how this thing goes, right? Yes. Be specific with that one. Uh, ayúdeme, Oswaldo, please, a leer these examples. Thank you. Okay. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's 6 p.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. <clears throat> It's 6 o'clock in the evening. It's 6 p.m. It's 9 o'clock at night. 
It's 9 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Midnight, very good, very good. So, so we can play also with the time, right? We can play also with the time here, right? Yes, in the morning, at noon, okay? Entonces, si usted le dicen, miren, tenemos un meeting at noon. Yes, ¿se sabe qué es? En la tarde. Exacto, no, es entre las 12 y las 1. 12 y las 1. Mm. Okay. Porque afternoon comienza desde las 1 hasta por ahí como las 5. Okay, so you can take it. Very good. So this is this is the way we can play also with the time. And in here we have what time is it? It's 10 a.m. or p.m. Remember, you can say different ways, right? You can say with numbers, what time is it? 1.15, or you can say 1.15 or a quarter after one. Yes? So, estas dos opciones son las más populares that we use. Yes? Entonces, siempre se les enseña la primera porque es la easiest one, y luego la second one, que sería this one. If you want to say it, I'll do it, right? So, that's, that's the thing. Uh, okay, let's begin. Right? Teacher. Yes. Eh, ¿Me puede repetir desde de qué hora comienza la noon? Oh, noon es mediodía. Yes. Noon sería mediodía. Solo tenemos one hour, right? For lunch. Luego, pues comienza el afternoon y comienza desde las one hasta las five. Luego desde las um, evening comienza desde las six. Hasta por ahí como las nueve, tipo diez, once. Hasta ahí llega a uh, evening. Por eso yo siempre cuando ustedes ingresan les digo good evening, right? Good evening. Y ya cuando me despido, right? Les digo. <laughs> ok. Yeah. So, Teacher. Yeah. En la pronunciación, diferencia entre noon de mediodía y de monja. Perdón, no la diferencio. En el sonido. None. En la pronunciación de no entre mediodía y monja, ¿cómo lo diferencio en sonido? ¿Puede, por favor? Oh, este es noon, así como noon, largo, noon. Mm. Entonces, los labios como que al final, pues los estiro un poquito. Noon, noon, ok, noon. Y la nun, ese es, no, no estira los labios, sino que como que se le quedan como nun, como algo abiertitos, ok. Y la pronunciación como que ahí está, ¿sí? Cuando pronuncio noon, es, es larguita la pronunciación, right? It sounds, it's long sound. Y el otro es short. None. Yep. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. So let's carry on on this one. Here we have this one. Okay, aquí nos dan un time y vamos a decirlo en la otra forma, pues que tenemos, right? Tenemos two options. Yes. For example, the number one is, is a quarter to four. So you can say it's three, five. Number two, it's seven. PM. It's seven in the evening. Okay. What about number three? Melissa. Thank you. What is Melissa? Which one is she? Six fifteen is ten to seven. So we got eight six. 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's 10 to 7. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Rosario, thank you so much. Sorry, teacher. What about number three? What is what is another way to say the time? Um. It's 6.15. Ah. Sorry, teacher. No la puedo formar. That's okay. Okay. Primero, identifiquemos el, el time, right? So, con los números. Con los números, right? Para que se nos haga it. Entonces, la number three, tenemos que sería... It's six, right? Tengo el number six. Y luego... 15. Exactly, right? Ahí. Quarter Excellent. after six. Oh, very good. Very good. So I can say 
Okay, a quarter after six. Yes? Teacher, but 15 is 50. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Melissa. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. No, pero Ricardo, ¿qué pasó ahí? Hey, los dos ahí. Eh. No, es que yo sí lo entendí, pero quiere decir, no, usted estaba con 15 porque la primera respuesta estuvo correcta. <laughs> Ten, to seven. Ten to seven. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, uh, you told me uh, five to um, seven, right? Yes. I'm sorry, Melissa. Forget about it, okay? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, teacher, it's 10 to 7, no 5. Mm -hmm. It's because of the yeah. time. Yes, para las 7. Yeah, I think it's because of that one. It's because of the time, I guess. Yes, I want to I wanna go to bed right now. Probably that's the case, okay? Ooh, thank you. The next one, number four. I'm sorry, Melissa. Apologize, okay? That was on me. Ooh. Um, it's the end of the night. Um, mm, <laughs> can I go ahead? It's 10 of the night, no? Oh, yeah, very um, no, no, sabría, teacher, ahí sí me... <laughs> Somebody, please, help me. Somebody, help me, please. No. Help me. Yeah, please. that's very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Somebody? Oswaldo? Teacher, ¿podría ser it's in pin? Excuse me? ¿Podría ser it's 10 p.m.? That is the best. Very good. It's 10 p.m. Yes. 10 p.m. Wonderful. Yep. Perfect. Yes. Ricardo, thank you. Continue. Number five. <laughs> That's people, okay? This is not. <laughs> this is not people, right? People, okay? The 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 rapper, okay? <laughs> Mister three o five. Okay, that was a joke. Oh, that was it's a joke. five past three. Okay, Teacher. It's five past three, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's five past three. Oh, yes, correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's Mr. 305, yeah? Okay. Great job, thank you. What about... And then we have... Okay. Yes, Mr. Daniel? Sorry. Redúzcame la 5, por favor, al español. Oh, my gosh. It is 25 to 11. 25 to 11. This is difficult. And this one goes for Melissa. Melissa, thank you. La 5, por favor. Oh, la 5. Oh, 3 or 5. Sí, pero puede traducírmela, por favor. ¿Qué es O5? O es un 0. Oh, gracias. Perfect, perfect. Melissa, thank you. No, Melissa? Okay. 11.35. It's 25 to 11. Very good. Wonderful. That was very good. It's 11.45. It's all right. Oh, five. Very good. No. Maybe, uh... Sorry. There you are. I'm sorry. 
11.35, yes, very good. It's 11.35. And also, it's time to go. It's time to go to bed, people. I'm sorry, okay? It's not enough time. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate everything. I'm sorry for the mistakes. Thank you. Yeah. Be nice. And see you soon. Yes. Momentito. Pero perdí todo. I'm sorry. Teacher. <laughs> Gracias. Yes, tell me. Eh, creo okay. que ahí nos equivocamos en la 3 porque Pistín es 15, no es Pistín. No, no, es 50, yes, es 50. Oh, entonces, el, ejemplo, el ejemplo está malo, teacher. 30, 12, 13. Entonces son 15, right? 15, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm sorry. 15, 17, 18, 19, 12. Ah, ajá. Entonces estaba bien. Entonces, ¿por qué era padre? Go, go ya, Antes que se vaya. En español, ¿cómo sería la 3? Es que no me, no me entra muy bien en la cabeza esa idea. Okay. Es que ahí se me un misterio. Entonces sería um, 15. Yeah. Oh, 6 y 15. Perdón, la 5, la 5. En español. Perdón, la 5. Oh, oh, la 5. Okay. Sí, es que no, lo, no logro procesarla en mi cabeza en español, la número 5. Oh, 305 es like 3 y 5. Right. Ah, oh, yes. y 5. Ok, Porque gracias. Es, pero, le quedaría así como, espérame, espérame, le quedaría así, mira. Le quedaría 305. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rosario. Okay. I'm yes. Sorry. Thank you. My pleasure. Go to bed. I'm sorry. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye, teacher.